Bernays. I'm doing a bit of night fishing tonight. I must be mad, because it ain't stopped raining all day. But I've got to do it, because next week, I'm going to be doing 12 hour shifts every day in London for the foreseeable future. So if I don't get out now, I ain't never going to get out. Just hasn't stopped raining for weeks. We're in the middle of this jet stream in the British Isles and um, it's just battering us. If you don't get out fishing in this, you, you just don't go fishing, do you? So much as I would like it not to be raining, <laughs> I'm just going to fish anyway. So I'm looking to fish into the night with the oncoming tide. It's high tide about, I don't know, one or two in the morning, then it, it, it goes back out and I'm gonna fish gonna fish the tide on the way out as well and then hopefully when the sun comes up if I've caught anything I'll maybe cook it on the beach. Not sure yet. We'll just see how it goes. Wish me luck. First things first. Gotta get some warm clothes on. Gotta really layer up because it's chilly. Don't intend to be doing too much filming through the night because but the footage just don't look too clever, does it, through the night, you know? I'll, I'll show you the odd little bit of footage when I'm catching stuff and that, but um, I'm going to try and keep the filming down to a minimum through the night. And uh, we'll see how it is in the morning. I must be mad. Right. That's a whole dirty squid on a pulley panel. And I'm just fishing reg on the other ones. I'm sure you can't see it because it's too dark. But if I do catch anything, you'll be the first to know. Right, there's the first fish. Lovely bass. Took that panel rig squid. That goes a good couple of pound easy. Let's give it a measure up. Right, that goes 45 centimetres. Not a bad start to the night. That's number two. That's a whiting, that's 28 centimetres, so that's legal size. I am soaked. It hasn't stopped raining. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. The weather's horrible. I've had that one decent bass. I've had a couple of legal size whiting and I've had quite a few undersized little schooly bass and um, uh, another couple of whiting as well so I've had a few fish but I've only had three that are legally oversized the rest of them have been tiny really so I've just been letting them go but it's a nightmare filming in the rain on the beach sand getting everywhere and um, pitch black <laughs> I don't really like doing this to tell you the truth but yeah, there you go. I haven't, I haven't fished off of a beach for 15, 20 years maybe. I mean, I've fished off of, I've fished off the estuaries, like where I'm nearer to where I live, but they're not sandy beaches. You get more muddy there than anything, but um, yeah, this is a chore. <laughs> it really is. But that, that decent bass, that's made it all worthwhile, I must say. I'm only halfway through the tide anyway, up to high tide. I don't know how much more I can take of it though, sitting under this brolly. I mean, it's not fantastic fishing, there are fish to be caught, but um, it's not the best. <laughs> right, I ain't gonna lie, it rained so much last night that I had a couple of hours kipping the van. <laughs> it's half seven in the morning now. I was gonna fish right through the night. couldn't because I was soaking wet. I had to change all my clothes, caught some whiting in the end, about half a dozen that were legal size. Got a bit of a sore throat coming on. Must be bad. <laughs> 
I was going to have a cook up on the beach, but it's too windy. I can't get out of it. There's no shelter from it. I can't even get the stove lit to make a cup of tea, so um, I'm going to have to take what I've caught home, which wasn't the idea, but that's the way it's going to be. Right, there the whiting that I ended up with. I caught about, I don't know, there's probably half a dozen seven fish there, something like that, and they're all over legal size. Just going to measure them now, just to show you. They have to be over uh, 27 centimetres. That one's 28. That one's 30 plus. That one's 28. They're all just sort of between uh, 28 and, and 30 centimetres. So, yeah, they're big enough. The best that I caught was, I was getting on to 45, maybe 47. That's 45 centimetres. Right, the way I'm going to uh, fillet these is simple, really. Just going to fillet them as you would any other normal fish. through the rib cage so that can come out a little belly flap that will get rid of them troublesome troublesome belly bones there take the pin bones out of there just notch them out Right, that's what we're left with. I was going to do this on the beach, but it's a bit fiddly. I'm glad I didn't really, but um, just going to salt these up before I put them in the fridge. I'm not going to eat them now because my wife's frying bacon and I'm going to have that for breakfast. <laughs> so just going to salt these up. So the whiting fillets have been in the fridge. They're not massive. They're just going to make goujons. This flour is seasoned with black pepper goes in there pat it off then it goes in the egg wash make sure it's proper in there we put it in the crumb now this crumb I made this out of, um, out of pieces out of slices of white bread that I put in the oven and um, I just I put it in an oven that was cooling down and then I took it out and I grated it up and that's what you've got that is like a uh, well like panko I should think and we just do that with the other ones and we'll see how we get on Go. they're cooking away it smells absolutely lovely here you go they don't need long couple of minutes on each side they're only small fillets they're looking and smelling really really nice
Right, here we go. Oh, it's hot. Mm. That's well nice. These fish were swirled about in the sea this time yesterday. That's how fresh they are. I know exactly where they've come from. I fancy the softer bun, that's why I went for the brioche this time. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> So you can't complain with that, can you? I know not everybody goes mad for whiting because they're small. Them whiting that I caught, they were small, they were legal. 27 centimetres is the legal size. <clears throat> These were 28 and over, 28 up to just over 30 centimetres. And they do seem small, but you can get a meal out of these fish. If you prepare them properly, just cut the flanks off them, cut the ribs out, take the pin bones out, and that is just, that's what you got. In a brioche bun, with some sweet chilli, that's my lunch. That coating's so crunchy as well. Very nice. Yeah, look, you can really stack up with these. It's just so tasty. There's only so many brioche buns I can eat, but I've cooked these. I haven't cooked the rest, I'll cook them for the kids later maybe. But they're out at the minute. Just gonna eat these ones because they're just freshly cooked. Look at that. The whiting are out there now, folks. They're hitting the beaches of East Anglia and the rest of the country. They're not in my estuaries yet down this way in force, so that's why I had to go to Walton. Walton on the nose up in the north of Essex. But when these are in town, you've just got to get on them. Just take your measure with you. Anything over 27 centimetres, take them home, eat them. They're just so worth it. Honestly, if you're not taking advantage of these, you don't know what you're missing. During the process of making the panko breadcrumbs, I, uh, I sieved the breadcrumbs to get the bigger particles out, and the smaller particles like these fell through. It, it's, it looks like semolina, ground semolina, but it is actually white bread that's been left in the oven to cool down. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try them because... Why not? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to eat any more fish because I've eaten too much. So I'm just going to cook this other batch up for the kids and they can have it later. And that's what I'm going to do now.